everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Cubica AMF Tech Tip Podcast. This is a weekly podcast where we take you on a journey through the fascinating world of bowling technology and beyond. And as always, I am your host, Orly, and I have a very special guest today, a returning guest, uh, David J. David J., welcome to the show. Thank you, Orly. Great to be here. Yeah, it's always good to have you on. So today what we want to talk about, David, was um, the next lane feature. So I guess first off, if you could let um, you know people know who might not know what that even is, a little bit about what that feature is. Sure. So with next lane or next pair, uh, that feature is twofold. One, when there are lanes available in the center, the next lane, next pair will suggest to the staff which lane or pair to use next. Okay. And secondly, if lanes are full, the notification will be instead of what to use next, which lanes will be available next based on uh, how the guests are playing, whether it's by game or by time. Okay. And before I go any further, my apologies. I didn't even say what you do for the company. So I'm so used to being on and, and asking you all the time where I'm like, hey, maybe people will already know. But some people, if you do not know, David J is a max training specialist. And if you want to just kind of briefly say kind of what you do, and I know previous shows, we do have other max training specialists and they also explain it, but somebody might be new to the show. So go ahead and let them know what you do. So the max training specialists, we either or both do virtual and on-site training for uh, Cubic AMF products, uh, scoring technology, point of sale, um, any, any products that should or could involve training uh, with Conquer. Okay. All right. We got that out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess going back to, we're talking about that next lane feature, what would be, um, you know, what would be the main reason that a center would want to let their staff know about this feature and, you know, what are the benefits of using this feature? With, uh, with next lane and next pair, the benefit of the feature when we have lanes available would be to suggest the next lane based on historical use. So the, the feature will allow the staff to just look and say, Oh, I should use this lane or this pair because it's had the least number of games bold since Conquer has been tracking games. Okay. So it will even out play across your center. The second feature would be when lanes are full. And especially when you have new, newer staff or people that are newer to bowling in general, the ability to scan the all lane screen and see which lanes should be available next based on how many minutes are remaining or how many games have been played or, or games remaining for a seasoned uh, employee or a seasoned bowling person. That's a fairly easy uh, thing to figure out. You know, we can scan that. Uh, you scan 20 lanes on the all lane screen and you can say, oh, yep, I can see it's going to be this long until I have the next lane available. When you have somebody in front of you and it's, oh, well, how long is the wait? Instead of having to scan 20 or 30 or 40 lanes, potentially, mm -hmm. you can look at the next lane, next pair, and it will tell you not only which lane or pair would be available next, but approximately how much time that would be. Okay. So not, I mean, if you think about it, not just from a scheduling standpoint, it's almost like, and I don't know if this is the best uh, comparison, but you know, when you have like car tires, you want to keep them rotated for maintenance reasons. You know, you don't want them to wear. So I guess this is almost like a maintenance, uh, a maintenance part of it too. Right. Cause I mean, if you're not a super busy center and you're just like, Oh, I'm going to put the person on in front of the, you know, right directly in front of the counter every time, eventually those pins are going to wear out faster or the lane, you know what I mean? So you're exactly right. And, and when we start talking about this in centers, I always get the uh, response of, oh my gosh, yes, I always give out these lanes first, or we <laughs> always end up with people on these lanes for whatever reason. Everybody has a favorite number, or we want to put people um, you know, away from offices or close to the snack bar, you know, whatever it might be. And so this will allow us to just quickly glance and say, oh, that's the next lane I should use. 
Yeah. Or I used to get the, you know, there's a birthday party on, you know, 11 and 12 and some, some other, you know, a couple will come in and be like, can we be like lane one away from the kid's birthday party? And like, sure, we'll get you over there. Yep. I, I had an employee that, um, was, um, always putting the first customers of the day down on the lanes, right outside my office. (laughs) <laughs> and he just wanted me to know that, Hey, we've actually got customers now. Thanks. I can hear that. <laughs> right. Exactly. Right. And David, I guess lastly here. Um, so the final thing here would be, is this a feature, you know, is this feature already available in conquer? Like, is it on the screen or is this something they have to, you know, set up? The next line, next pair feature is there automatically you can find the the feature on the all lane screen. It's right below uh, the your um, right below your lanes. The setup is automatic. It will automatically perform, uh, especially with the when lanes are available. Now, when lanes are full, there are settings that will determine when lanes should be available. Obviously, if we're selling by time and we pre-sold or pre-assigned time to lanes, that countdown is automatic. With game bowling or post-paid bowling, since we don't actually know how long the game might take for two people or four people or six people, whatever the case may be, those settings can be uh, customized by the center. And those settings are in center setup. Um, under the tab, excuse me, um, under the um, uh, the lane control tab, I'm sorry, the lane control tab in center setup. And right there you can, we default the time to 10 minutes per person per game uh, in a single lane opening and eight minutes per pair. And the centers can adjust that if that time is maybe not accurate for their guests. All right. Well, I appreciate you coming on today because, you know, there's always features. Somebody might know about this. Somebody newer to a center might not know what that, you know, oh, that's what that button's for. Okay. So yeah, there's always something um, new to to learn from this show. And if you are new to the show, make sure you're going back and listen to past shows. Um, David J has been on previous shows and other great trainers and just other people within the company that have came on to share some knowledge on different, you know, different things that will help you out in your center. So David, again, I appreciate you joining the show. And um, until next time, we will talk to everyone soon. Always a pleasure. Thank you.